Good afternoon, everybody. We are uh, beginning our lecture for Friday, September 1st and in our course statics. And uh, I think we're gonna have a short lecture today. But what I really wanted to do was to give us an opportunity to get caught up and make sure that we knew where we were with due dates and next week, because next week's a weird week. Um, and so then I also wanted to take any questions that you might have about the conversion factor worksheet, uh, which is due tonight at midnight. So um, the first thing, let's take a look at our schedule. So today, uh, Friday, September 1, is our fifth class period. You should have watched videos four and five, plus the videos that we've recorded for class so far. And homework one, which is conversion factors, is due today. Now, um, on Labor Day, Monday, uh, September 6th, September 4th, excuse me, uh, we don't have any class because it's Labor Day, so this is a three-day weekend. So we will meet as a class either in this room or on Zoom or asynchronously, your preference, uh, on Wednesday, September 6th. That will be our seventh class. So by then you should watch videos six and seven, and then we'll talk on Wednesday, move a little bit forward, answer any questions you have and so forth. Now, Friday, uh, the 8th of September, I'm going to be off campus. So you need to watch video lectures eight and nine, and there's some recorded lectures for you, but we will not be having either a Zoom synchronous or a face-to-face -face lecture. So that means next week we only have one face-to-face -face or Zoom lecture. Um, it's kind of an unusual week, but just pointing it out. So then on Monday of the next week, the 11th, um, we'll have homework number two will be due, which is on chapter two in our textbook. And then there's a quiz. So I'm just gonna go through that in just a moment. Friday, we're only going to Zoom, but it will be real time. And then Monday the 18th, once again, I will be off campus. So we'll have an asynchronous meeting that day as well. So there'll be, you'll just catch up through, make sure you've got your homework done, make sure you've got your quiz done, do watch videos 10 and 11, and then uh, we'll meet on Wednesday. I don't have a modality here, but it will, I'll change that. It'll be face-to-face -face or Zoom um, on Wednesday and again on Friday. All right, so kind of gone through that. Uh, I wanted to point out if you have not submitted your homework and I haven't looked yet, I always wait till everybody submits because then I can grade them at the same time and sort of see. It's especially for me to do that. But like sometimes I'll see students missing the same kind of a problem over and over again. And I think, oh, perhaps I did not cover that well enough. So uh, so it's a good heads up for me. So make sure that you get your homework submitted by tonight at it's actually 1159 p.m., but uh, slightly before midnight. Then, like I said, we're working our way through chapter two. And the textbook for chapter two is on the Moodle page, as are the lectures and um, the lectures that we've covered, some extra problems. And then there's the homework submission for Monday, September 11th, which is a week from this coming Monday uh, for your homework number two. Now, just to remind about a quiz, you do not take you pull up the quiz online so in other words when you're ready to start you'll you'll just click this button and bring it up on your screen you have an hour to complete it it should not take you an hour to do but it's but it is timed so but you have ample time to do it but you do not answer the questions on the quiz here you write out your homework on engineering comp paper or you write out your quiz on engineering comp paper and then submit it through this button and you just need to make sure that from the time you open the quiz here to the time you submit it here, that it's one hour or less, all right? And so that kind of gives us our, our setup for the rest of the, the next little bit of our lives. So that's good. Do you have any questions about that? All right, so um, let's take a look at the, the unit conversion worksh worksheet, which I always like to hide somewhere so that we can't quite find them when we need them. Um, but going through another example, unit conversions, statics, there's chapter one, there's the unit conversion handout. Some students in the past had trouble reading some of these, um, some of these problems. 
And the first thing I want to let you know is if you cannot read them properly and you assume it's something, just tell me what you assume. Like if you if it says it could be 127 or it could be, you know, 1530 or whatever, just write down what you're using for a number and that will be sufficient. But there are some answers that would help you uh, get started. If Microsoft Word decides, yes, we've got Microsoft Word. All right, so there we go. I think these were legible. These were legible. Okay, here on this problem number 13 says uh, 400 milliliters equals how many fluid ounces? Number 14 is inches to centimeters. And this Number 18 is quarts to centiliters or hundreds of a liter. Yes. So everything else I think is legible. But like I said, if you can't read that and you just tell me what you're going to do, you'll get you'll get credit for it. Because the important thing is that you do a conversion based on those dimensions, such as um, volume, mass, you know, volume, volume, and so forth. And I like to do a lot of volume problems, especially because um, the United, the U.S. customary system has very strange units for volumes. So it's it, it can be, well, you just have to look them up. That's all there is to it. So, all right. So do you have any questions about the homework, the sheets? All right. Like I said, very short class. So if I will be around this weekend and I will be working on Monday. So you do not have to be in school on Monday, but should you have questions, uh, do not hesitate to send me an email uh, or to send me a text because I will be available. And aside from that, I'm gonna stop our recording and wish you a happy weekend. And I'll look forward to seeing you next week on Wednesday, unless you need me before. All right.